baby. What is up, everyone? Welcome back. Today we create a reverse reverb. So why why do we need it? In our verse, our verse is just repeating. So the one problem with looping, there is one problem. Uh, it repeats and it gets repetitive. It gets boring. So let's listen to this. So I don't know if you noticed, but each one of these parts, every time I, you know, if I put it here and then I put it here, then here, then here, it, it's the same shit. So we want to change it up a little bit. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to remove this thing over here. Okay. Then we're going to find this part right here. You know we can get away. We're going to copy it over here. Okay. So the part that we just removed, we're going to put this thing into its place. Let's listen to what we have now. All right, that's nice. But this part just jumps in all of a sudden, right? You know all of a sudden. So it's kind of like, what the fuck? What's going on? So sometimes it, it can throw somebody off. It can be maybe unprofessional. It doesn't matter. But we're going to make it more awesome. So we're going to create a reverse reverb. So this is what we're going to do. Click this button. Click make unique. First, we want to make this thing, this sample unique, right? Next thing we want to do is... Click this small button once again, and we're going to click Edit Sample. Now our sample is going to you open up in Edison. You know we can get now what we want to do is select the whole thing. So you, you can double click, I think. No, you can't actually. You have to click, drag, click, drag, right? Now right click. You want to go to Tools and then Reverse. So basically, you have to reverse your sample. Add reverb to it and then reverse it again. And then take the reverb part and put it where you want it. So that's what we're doing. We we just did a reverse. Let's listen to what we have. So that's how it sounds reversed. Next, let's add a reverb. This button over here, click it. And then it says reverb. Cl click accept. That's all you have to do. Now, zoom in a little bit. I mean, zoom out. And if you notice, there is one part that is not selected in the red. That's our reverb part. So let's re let's select only that part and let's listen to it. Okay, so that's what we need. Listen. Now what you want to do is select everything once again. And then reverse it again. Tools, right click tools and then reverse. Let's listen to what we have. You know that's the part we need. At this thing at the start, right? So let's select this thing at the start. And simply use this button over here to drag it in. Make sure you drag it in the front of this part that just jumps in that we don't like. You know. Okay, so that's where we want to put it, in the front. So what you want to do is select it, hold Alt button, and then just click and drag. Because then it, then it allows you to drag it however you like. So zoom in, and then make sure it fits in at the beginning of it. So, you know, like this. So let's listen. That's awesome, but it sounds a little bit different. I'm going to show you what I mean by it. Double click on this part that you just put in here. Just double click on it. And under pitch, make sure you put it to plus 400. I don't know if you noticed, but up there in the left upper corner, if I move the slider, the numbers change. Plus 200, plus 300, plus 400. Put it to, actually, let's put it to plus 300. And let's play. Now it's way better, right? You know we can get awesome, so that's how you do the reverse reverb. Okay, guys, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to mix and master because obviously everything sounds loud. It's not good. So we have to, like, change it up a little bit. We got to make it good, okay? So I'm going to see you in the next video where we do mixing and mastering. Peace. Delicious.